Hey everyone, this is Slyman. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up and restore the ZWO ASI Air operating system using a computer that is running Windows. Now I recommend backing up the operating system the first day you get a new ASI Air or ASI Air Pro. And the reason for that is the operating system is contained on a micro SD card and you just never know when this will corrupt. It could be the first day you use it, the 10th day you use it, maybe the 100th day, or you never know, maybe it won't corrupt at all. But in the case that it does, you want to have a backup available so you're able to restore the operating system, otherwise you won't be able to use this. Now, in the event that it does corrupt and you don't have a backup available, you'll have to contact ZWO and they'll have to give you the operating system and issue you a new license and that can take some serious time. So it's well worth it to save yourself the headache and to just back up the operating system. It's really easy, so I'm going to show you how to do that in the event you need to restore it in the future you have that available. So let's jump right in. Now you do want to be careful when removing the micro SD card that you don't break it in half. I actually have seen a few people bust these in half because they pull them out too forcefully. So you want to be a little bit careful. So there is a little nub you can see here. And I just like to push down on that and pull very, very gently. So I'll just push down, gently pull that out, just like that. Now there are a couple different ways you can get the micro SD card into your computer. The first and easiest way is just if your computer has a micro SD card reader, you can easily just slip that in there. The second way is if your computer uses a standard SD card reader, you can buy a SD to micro SD adapter where the SD card just slips in the bottom and then you plug it in into the SD port. And the third and last way is if you don't have a SD reader or a micro SD reader, you can buy a USB adapter and it will just plug in there. I don't have one because I don't need one, but that is another way that you can, you can do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on backing up the ASI Air operating system. The first thing I like to do is just plug in my micro SD card into my laptop just to make sure that it's working and all the files that are there that need to be on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And then my computer usually gives me a bunch of warnings that I need to format the drive. As you can see here, tons of warnings are popping up. Do not format the disk. You will wipe it if you do that. So make sure you don't do that. Okay, so this is what pops up and looks like everything is here. So I verified that all the files are on the, uh, the SD card and I am good to do my backup. And it is in the D drive. And you'll need to know that later, what drive your uh, micro SD card is in. So I'm just going, now that I've verified these files are here, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that. And again, do not format the disk. So just hit cancel. Okay. Cancel. Okay. Cancel. Okay. <laughs> cancel. 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 Okay. So now that I've got through 10 warnings about my disk, <laughs> um, we're ready to get started. So the first thing you need to do is download Win32 Disk Imager. This is what's going to basically mirror what's on that disk into a backup file. So open up your preferred internet browser. I like to use Firefox, but you know, what to each their own, Chrome, Edge, whatever you want. So go to Google, it's my homepage, so it's already here. And just type in Win32 Disk Imager. Okay. So you'll see uh, sourceforge.net win32 disk imager download. This is what you're going to want to download. Now, before you do this, download this program at your own risk. Now, I'm not saying that this program is loaded with viruses by any means, but I'm also not saying that it's virus free either. So before you download this, I would just make sure that your antivirus software is up to date and actively checking it for viruses. Now this is what ZWO recommends in the product manual to use and I've used it and it's just fine. It's a small little program, it's really nifty, but yeah, just, just be aware, you just wanna make sure you run it through your, your antivirus software. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this. Win32 Disk Imager, and I'm gonna hit download. 
And you can also get to the same website through the ASI Air manual. So they actually have a link to the same page on the, the ASI Air manual that you can, you can go there that way as well. If you feel more comfortable going through the ZWO website, you can do that. So I'm gonna hit save file. And I'm gonna click the downloads box. Like I said, it's really small. It's just 12 megabytes. I'm gonna open my downloads folder. Okay, there we go. And now that I've downloaded it, I actually won't need the internet anymore through this whole process. So I'm gonna click out of there and notice Norton's telling me it's safe, so that's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. And it is a, a pretty nifty little program if I do say so myself. So yes, I want to allow this to go. Uh, read through here if you'd like to, I accept, next. Yep, that's where I want to save it, and that's what I want to call it. Create a desktop shortcut, yes. Okay. All right, so I'm going to install this. I won't need this anymore, so click out of there. All right, view readme. Eh, don't really need to. Do I want to launch it? Sure. And that's what we need to do next. So launch. Okay, there it is. So here's the Win32 Disk Imager. It's a very, very clean, very, very simple program. It's really hard to get wrong. Anyway, so how it works? Well, you have your device, what you want to back up, and the location. So look at your memory card. So open the file explorer and see where it's located. So mine is in the D drive. So that's what I'm going to use. So the D drive is already selected, so that's nice. If you click on this blue folder here, it will show you where it's going to save. So this PC downloads. Well, I'm gonna move it anyway, so I don't really care where it saves. So downloads is just fine with me. And then you're going to name it. So I'm gonna say ZWO -A -S -A -S -I Air Operating System Back Up. Okay, so there we go. So you have the ZWO ASI Air Operating System Backup hash. You're just gonna put none. Read only allocated partitions, just leave that blank. And you're gonna hit read right here. So hit read. And now what it's gonna do is it's going to read what everything that is on that micro SD card essentially and make a backup file. Now you can see it's gonna take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour depending on how fast your computer is. My computer is a little bit older, so it's going to take a little bit longer. So this was roughly going to be about 45 minutes for me. Uh, 30 gigabytes is the file size usually, so about 30 gigabytes you should expect. So make sure you have that space on your hard drive. And uh, I'm just going to let this run, and then I'll be back in about you know 45 minutes or so. Okay, so the backup is just about done. You can see here it has about... 10 seconds left is 99% through. So let's just let this finish up real quick. And done, okay, so you'll get read successful. Okay, you can go ahead and exit. Now like what I like to do is I like to right click and make a new folder and I'll just title it ASI Air OS back up and then go to the file explorer and make sure that it that it saved properly so remember it was saving to the downloads section so i'm going to go to downloads zwo asi air os backup that's what we named it and yep 31 gigabytes in size basically so that is a huge file uh, so what i do is i usually just take this drag it over to the folder i made and stick it in there so now if i go to my ASI Air OS backup folder, there it is. With the ASI Air operating system successfully backed up, I would highly recommend you copy that file you just made and put it on an external hard drive. That way you have two backups of the operating system, one on your computer and one on a drive. Now I know it's big, it's 30 gigabytes. This right here is a four terabyte drive, so 30 gigabytes really isn't that much. But I do think it is smart just to have two backups in case you need it. All right, so that is how you back up the ASI Air operating system. Now we'll move on to part two. All right, so what do you do if you've connected your ASI Air Pro like normal? You just use it one day and it's not working. You've connected everything and it's just not loading past this screen. Well, you can tap the LED abnormal button 
And you'll notice it gives you a menu of, of lights and what they indicate. Well, if you see here under card, if it has regular blinking, that means startup failed. There's probably something wrong with your memory card. So if you see this regular blinking card light, you know you probably have a corrupted memory card and you need to restore it. So if you backed it up like we did in the previous step, you can go ahead and restore your memory card and get it working again. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do next. Okay, so if you have a corrupt micro SD card and you did back up the operating system, you can go ahead and restore it now. So again, gently remove the micro SD card from the ASI Air and plug it into your computer. And I'm sure I'll get a bunch of error messages again. Yep. <laughs> well, not even errors, just prompts. I'm not sure why it tells you to do this so many times, but it does. So anyway, here is what we need. So I'm just going to minimize that and just get rid of these real quick. Okay, there we go. All right. So go back to the file explorer, open that up. And here is your corrupt memory card. So the first thing you need to do is format the memory card. So make sure that the drive is selected. So for me, again, it's the D drive and it's highlighted here. And you want to format this. Now, some people format their cards using a camera or other devices. I would really recommend doing this in a computer because when you format a card on a camera, usually it will put some of the camera's files on the card. Doing it on a computer leaves the card pretty clean. So right click on the drive itself and go up to format. Just leave all the, the defaults there and hit start. Now, warning, formatting will erase all data on this disk. Click OK. All right. Format complete. OK, so this this uh, SD card is now uh, wiped, wiped clean. Click on it. There's nothing in here. So now what we need to do is we need to take the backup file that we made in the previous step, and we need to put this on the memory card but you're not just gonna click this and drag it over. You're going to use Win32 Disk Imager again. So you're gonna click out of there. So go to Win32 Disk Imager and open this. Okay. Now again, device is selected as D because that's what I want to use. And you're going to need to select the file that you want to write to the disk. So we're gonna open the file explorer here and I put it on my desktop. So it's in desktop, ASI Air OS backup. Now here it's going to be defaulted to .img files. Our backup was not in .img, so we're just gonna take any kind of file here, okay? There it is, so I'm gonna click on that and hit open. All right, so now the directory for, or the path to this file is in our, our uh, little bar here. And instead of going, instead of hitting read this time, so reading data from the device to the image file, you're going to write to the device. So you're going to hit write. Writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Well, you know, it was already corrupted. We formatted it. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay, so this is gonna take just about as much time as it took before to write all these files, if not longer. It really depends on, on your computer and what you're running in the background, your computer specs, how old it is. So this is gonna take some time to write so I'm gonna let this go ahead and, and do its thing and then I'll be back again when it's done. Okay, so just a couple of seconds away from the end here of writing the backup file to the disk and we'll make sure that this, uh, this works. So write successful, okay. I'm gonna exit this now and we're gonna check the micro SD card and make sure everything looks good. So go to the boot. Looks like everything has been placed back on here just the way it was. So that backup looks to have done its job. So it's, it's a fairly simple process as you can see. All right, so now that I've restored the ASI Air operating system to the micro SD card, it's time to test it out. So I'm just going to tap the ASI Air app on my iPad and we'll see if it's working. It's just loading up, enter. And it looks like it's working just fine. So you can see it's pretty easy to restore the operating system if you have a backup. And that is why it is so important that you back it up right when you get it. So if you do get corrupted files, you can easily restore that operating system. Okay, well that concludes this tutorial video. I really hope that you found this video helpful. 
and that it prevents you some future stress in that if you do see corrupted files or a corrupted operating system, you're able to easily restore it now with that backup. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and clear skies.